Alrighty. Hi everybody. Uh, my name's Scanner. I run the channel, unsurprisingly. I thought with kind of all subs filtering out, the, the channel being less about gaming right now, and new people filtering in, it was probably a good idea for, for me to introduce myself to the newer folks. Put a face to the, to the channel, put a face to the voice. Um, yeah, really just kind of make it a little bit more community focused again. Uh, like it used to be back in the day when I was a Battlefield YouTuber. A lot of people knew me. They knew who I was, they knew what I was. I appeared on live streams and stuff. I am a bit more behind the scenes now than uh, I was back then. And yeah, this is just a good way to kind of kick things off and get us all introduced to each other, shall we say. So obviously there's been a lot of growth on the channel lately due to Trench Crusade. And there's just some stuff I want to talk about real quick. And why I'm doing this kind of video will become clear at the end. So for the last three weeks or so, I've been dealing with COVID. I actually got a really bad batch of it this time. And I've been working through that and it's kind of compounded by my general health issues. But what it did do was it gave me a lot of time to think about the channel. And I really have, I've always been very dismissive of my YouTube channel, but I've really been enjoying it lately. Uh, it was always just kind of something to distract me and kind of force me to learn. And I picked up some very useful skills for work from doing YouTube content, but it was definitely something that I never really cared about too much, but I definitely am enjoying this current arc, this focus in on miniature gaming and uh, war gaming and things of that nature. I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So I'll probably stick with this for quite a while. Now that is not to say that I care so much about growth, which I don't. I think transparency is key here. So the only thing that I really want from this YouTube channel is for it to make my hobby essentially neutral. I would love it if my YouTube channel pays for my hobby each month. And at the moment it does. So I consider my channel to be everything that I want from it from the point of view of being successful or not. I don't really think too much about how to grow. It would be kind of cool to hit 100K at some point and get that little play button. But I think everybody thinks that. That's not like exclusive to me. And I'm just being honest and acknowledging that it's a thing that people think about. It would certainly be fun and interesting to do that at some point. But I mean, that's another 13 years. Of, the channel is 13 years old at this point. So why worry about it? Um, overall, I'm just having a lot of fun. I like to use the channel to keep me engaged with my own hobby and it will end up in the long term. It might not seem like it now, but in the long term, it will act like a little hobby diary. The things that I'm into and, you know, out of will be represented on the channel. And right now I'm very into Trench Crusade. So let's talk about Trench Crusade. What's coming up for Trench Crusade stuff? What I plan on doing is I'm going to obviously keep the lore going. I know you all love the lore. There's a limited amount of official lore available that will change once this book from the Kickstarter becomes a thing. And I'm very hopeful that uh, Tomas might take pity on me and give me some kind of a sneaky peek at that at some point. Wishful thinking, right? But yeah, so I'm going to be doing lots of kind of lore shorts, medium length lore videos, my own stories like One Man's Fall. I was very pleased with how well that did. That's at like 25,000 views now. And that's something that I wrote myself from scratch. And that's pretty cool. Like, I'm just, I'm very pleased with that one in particular doing quite well. I thought it might get 2,000 views, not 12 times that. So I'm very, very happy. On top of that, I want to do stuff like painting videos. I have this new camera that I'm using. I'm forcing myself to learn how to use it right this very second. So sorry for any mistakes that I've made in the quality or anything like that. And I want good quality painting videos going up on the channel. I'm not saying I'm a good painter or anything like that, but I have a lot of fun with it. And if you want to learn a couple of tricks from somebody who's having fun with it, and if you want to kind of work at your level instead of trying to piece together advice from people who are kind of two decades ahead and they're really trying to like dumb down their thinking to even think about what to say to people like us. I might be the guy you might learn something from me or you might just have fun watching the videos. I don't know, but there's definitely going to be painting videos. There's going to be rules videos. I realized I have focused a huge amount on the lore 
But if there's one thing I find incredibly beneficial when other channels do it, it's focusing in on rules and questions around rules that I have for very specific games and even just teaching me how to play very specific games because sometimes I struggle to figure out rules books. I love rule books very much, but I'm not a very smart individual. So what I intend to do is to do some like kind of very simply animated rules things, explaining like the movement phase, the shooting phase, different nuances of things, maybe looking in at the tactics of the list. I'm quite blessed in that I play with a group of people in Tabletop Simulator who are really smart and passionate about Trench Crusade and they have really good tactical discussions. So I think I can actually parlay listening to that into good content. And I've certainly learned a lot about the game from them and I suspect I will continue to do so. Then I want to keep the battle reports going. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get to play over the coming weeks, but there will definitely be more battle reports. And I want to do a mix of traditional battle reports and then the narrative battle reports that I'm having a lot of fun doing. Sorry if you can hear my cat sneezing. He's decided now is the perfect time. And then I want to do this thing that's kind of like a fight arena. If anyone is aware of a channel called Heresy for Heretics and the awesome painting that he does, you'll know he also does like a very short, they're literally short, uh, fights between characters within Warhammer 40k using the Warhammer 40k rule. Just a bit of fun. And I thought something like that might be good memes. And I don't want anybody thinking that I'm pretending like I came up with this idea because it was definitely Heresy for Heretics, not me. So I'm just stealing it, I guess. And that's really where I am with the Trench Crusade content and what I have planned coming up right now. There'll be like some terrain builds and stuff like that, but I don't want to overly commit to when or where or how they're going to happen because I have a lot to learn about recording content this way. All of my previous content creation experience comes from the gaming space and recording stuff off the screen. Not like this, not in a 3D space. So I'm figuring stuff out. So you're going to have to work with me. And there's probably another couple of little gadgets that I got to buy before I can do that kind of stuff specifically. Now, I do just want to say one thing and be kind of quite upfront and honest here. I like Trench Crusade. I'm really enjoying the game. I have a huge amount of respect for Mike for all the art and James for all the sculpting and all the organizing of the other sculptors and all the effort that he's put in on the first Kickstarter fulfillment. And I have tremendous respect for Tomas going all the way back to when I was a teenager and I was sending him letters in White Dwarf and he was kind enough to reply to me because he's just that kind of guy, I guess. But if there's one thing I'm not here to do, it's advertise Trench Crusade. I'm just being passionate about it. I enjoy the game. You will or you won't like it. It's no skin off my nose whether you do or don't. But there's definitely been an air of people kind of rolling up into the comment section and saying weird, strange stuff and expecting to be accommodated. And this just isn't that channel. And I'm just not that person. It's not going to happen. If you need somebody to get you past your religious hangups so that you can enjoy what is a work of fiction, I'm not the guy. I don't care that much. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. And if you want to come in and say weird shit about people or groups of people, I'm not really that guy either. It's just not that channel. It's not going to work out for you. So there's no point in getting defensive when I roll up and take you to task for some of the things you say. I just feel it best to be clear about that kind of stuff. For the most part, people have been quite well behaved, but there's definitely a couple of sad bastards that show up in the comments. Some of you come back a lot. I think you're kind of lonely. And that's kind of a broader conversation that I want to have. I purposefully and consciously try to dedicate as little of my emotional processing and my mental processing to things that I don't like as I can. I mostly ignore them where possible, unless they're literally coming onto my channel. I don't go to channels that I don't like. I don't watch videos about things that I don't like. I don't get myself caught up in weird back and forwards that people want to have on the internet that seems to go on forever. And I definitely don't get myself onto what I call the rage carousel, which is just this never ending, always changing. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad cycle that's generating money for certain channels out there. I don't give a shit. Do what you want to do, but that's not me. 
and I would advise anyone who's watching this and gives a shit, really consciously take a step back from all that stuff because it's got no value and it's adding nothing to your life. Engage with the stuff you like, just be passionate about it, explore this content. You don't need to fucking chill for it. It's not necessary. You can just make a few videos. You can just have a few online conversations. You can play a few games with friends or you can have a conversation in the real world. It's super easy. Like for the most part, people are nice to talk to. Give it a shot. And then the last thing that I wanna say and cover is I'm interested in expanding the topics on the channel over time. I don't wanna rush into anything, but I definitely do want to be more than just Trench Crusade, right? Cause there's a lot of really good stuff out there. And I don't wanna like hammer this groove just because it's getting views and it's getting subs. I don't think that's necessary. And I don't think that leads to good, interesting or entertaining content. So what I wanna do is I wanna explore more of the hobby space. I've been in it for a very long time and I've been in and out of it for a very long time, if that makes sense. So now that I feel like my long-term health issues are receding a little bit, I can feel my gray matter kicking back up some and becoming sharper and more capable of processing information. There's definitely stuff I really wanna get into and I really wanna learn about. Things like Infinity are incredibly interesting to me and I think the lore is pretty funky. Uh, I was talking to Al, one of the guys in my Trench Crusade group, and he was suggesting the Lancer as something that's super interesting. Maybe I can go back in time and I can do some videos on Mordheim or Inquisitor, the old 54 mil scale uh, game that Games Workshop used to do. There's a, there's a ton of stuff that I could conceivably do. If there's things that you think I might be interested in or that you're interested in, or you're just interested in seeing if I'm interested in, let me know in the comment section below. I definitely do want to do more than just be a Trench Crusade channel, as much as I love Trench Crusade. That's not how my brain works. It doesn't stay focused on one thing for very long. Um, I tend to hyper fixate on stuff and then hyper fixate on something new whilst maintaining a percentage of attention on the previous thing. That has always been how my brain works. I'm actually surprised I've been hyper fixating on Trench Crusade for as long as I have. So who knows what way this is gonna go. Y'all might be sick of me in, in a short amount of time. And then the final thing that I wanna talk about is these videos, these talking head videos. I'm doing these very consciously because they make me uncomfortable. I don't like being on camera. I don't like sitting here talking to a lens. It makes me feel weird. So it, this makes me uncomfortable. It's good to be uncomfortable. It's good to challenge yourself and put yourself in uncomfortable situations, even if those situations are completely normal for other people in their day-to-day -day lives. I don't like being on camera. I think this is a fun way to explain stuff. I want to challenge myself over time to make this kind of presentation interesting and exciting. And I'm specifically thinking of people like MS Paint and 52 Miniatures as folks whose presentation of the hobby I find to be extremely aspirational. And I would like to do a little more and challenge myself that way. I just think it would be a lot of fun and difficult and difficult is good. So yeah, that's it. I hope you're having a great day. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you very much. And I will talk to you all very soon. Goodbye.